Yo, what's going on, 67? Let's squad here. We're doing a ranked one. Season 8 is out. Osiris, we're playing because Death Toll is in the game again. And, I mean, I guess most people should know what the fuck Death Toll does because it used to be in the game. But, um, basically, if you don't know, it gives you 5 HP back every time you auto attack per thing you hit. Unless you have AoE auto attacks, in which case it's 5 on the initial hit. And one on every extra thing you hit. So it's it's still good. It's still very strong. But yeah, I mean that's that's that. That's pretty much all it does. You can see the stats. I'm gonna hover over it here, so. Uh here you go. Ten power, seventy-five HP. Every time you hit someone, you get five HP back, pretty much. And two mana back, pretty much. And those um those things are halved on I feel my strength grow. AoE auto attacks. So pretty normal, pretty normal, nothing crazy, but you know, it does bring a lot more auto attack warriors back into the meta because their survivability is so much stronger now. Um and that's really what I wanted to show off here was the the amount of survivability you have and sustain you have with Dust Toll means, you know, you don't ever have to go Chalice or anything. Like, I just did blue buff, popping nothing. I have 800 health still. I, I didn't lose any health or mana doing that. In a hurry. I missed because I'm ball. I'm balls. It also lets me just kind of, like, trade with a Thanatos and a minion wave and not be worried about getting out traded. Okay. He even bracered that. I hit him 22 times. Holy shit. I healed so much during that. I wish I could see my healing during that fight. But the healing, it's so much, man. Just by auto attacking. This will help us survey the battle from afar. Look at my HP just fly up clearing these things. And you can basically kind of abuse this with either Bologna or Osiris. I tried to kill him there, but I forgot he could just walk through me. <laughs> I ulted and I was like, I'll body block him. And it will be the easiest kill of my life. And then he just walked through me. I could die here, honestly. Nice. Alright, we're chilling. You don't win this. God, he just lost so much HP doing nothing. Leadership material. So, I think the best path here that you want to go on auto attack warriors now, or honestly, auto attack anyone. Like, Death Toll is just so OP. But, for, you know, the sake of this conversation, we're going to talk about warriors. Um, you just want to go, like, Frostbound, Ichabal, Kins, and Exe, and Stone Cutting, and just auto attack the shit out of people. Because Death's Toll just gives you that much sustain. You don't even really need too much defense. Oh, also, uh, I, we can show off new Frostbound, too. It didn't get massively changed to the point where, like, you might think I need to do, like, a separate video about it, but... It did get buffed. It got a lot of power now. It has 35 power and 300 HP as well as the normal Frostbound effect. So you can actually pick it up as a straight up just fucking power item. Nice. Big kill. Let's go get our attack speed. I'm going to go straight into the Frostbound because I think it is that good. 35 power is a big deal. I don't know what his build is doing. Warrior Axe into a Blood Forge, I guess. And yeah, I mean, with Death's Toll, you can kind of abuse it to the fact where the more... 
auto attack speed you have, the more sustain you have. You don't you don't need defense when you have auto attack speed. All right. Insane Nombies. Okay. There's his ult. Alright. We live, we get the kill. Again, I wish I could see how much Death Toll did for me, but it definitely allowed me to live. Also, um, it's hitting, it's healing for a 13 per auto. You see this? It's not hitting, healing for 5 per auto, it's healing for 13 per auto. Because the more HP you have, because it's not 5 and 2 anymore, it's percentage health based of your maximum mana and maximum health. So, the more health you build, the stronger your sustain is with Death Toll. So... Pretty fucking bonkers. Oh, it works on towers too, apparently. Look at me just heal up on tower. Holy shit. Yes, Destal is a starter item. Look at this trade, right? Like, it takes all that time in the world to trade with me. It takes all that time in the world to trade with me, and then I can just heal it up on tower. I mean, obviously, I stayed really long because I wanted to get Frostbound first back, but very nice. So now that I have 1700 HP, I wonder how much Destal is giving me back. Oh, I won't say because I'm not low enough. At least 9. Obviously. See, I think he was doing red buff. I think I... I either heard him doing... Yeah, okay. I was going to say I either heard him doing red or heard red respawn. So I'm now doing 13 per auto. Or healing 13 per auto, I should say. He's going to land on wave. There's his bracer. We're chilling. Uh, I can tank tower, because... What's up? I got Dust Hole. I can also tank you. Jesus. Jesus. Next item is probably going to be Itchival, or it could even be Hasten Katana. Strictly on the fact that I like being fast. I know that my passive is about being fast, but... This katana seems kind of fragtastic to me. Dude, I can't get over how much I heal. Holy fuck. Help us survey the battle from afar. Like, okay, I'm gonna kill these I'm gonna kill these side boys right here. Just these two. 1350 starting. I have 1350 HP starting. I gained 200 HP off of those little minis there. With no lifesteal. Just with death toll. Fucking ridiculous. I have a thousand. I had a thousand HP hitting the wave while tanking the wave. I healed up 400 HP. It's it's so not okay. It's so not okay. It's ridiculous. Well, I wish that hit him, but I guess we just heal up on Phoenix here. You don't want this, dog. Yes, tall baby! Don't even try it, bitch! Don't even fucking try it, baby! I've gotta fall back. Can't stop the heels. Jesus. That much sustain should be illegal. Pack speed, do we go oboe? I kind of just want to go like Atalanta's to be honest with you. So I, or actually, I I save for Ichabal here. I definitely save for Ichabal. 
It's also OP as fuck. I actually don't know, by the way, what upgraded Death Toll does. So I'm gonna look at that while getting uh, Ichival here. Leadership material. So I can either do this where it gives me 3% of my health and mana per auto rather than 0.75. Wow, that's fucking nuts. So basically I can triple the healing on my Death Toll or... Or I don't know. What is the other option? I can triple the healing on my death toll, or I can get 3.5 attacks, attack, 3.5% attack damage every time something dies near me, stacking up to 10 times. So I can do 35% more attack damage and get 30% attack speed. This gives me 65 power, 200 health. This gives me more health and more healing. I'm honestly going to go with... What is this called? Death's Embrace. That seems bonkers for sustain. I can also... Go Berserker Shield whenever I want. That's quadruple, not triple. 75% times 2 would be... So 1.5. Oh yeah, and then times 2 again would be 3. So you're right. Oh, he flew away. I have to be level 20 to get Death's Embrace, though. But I'm extremely excited to see what that does. I mean, I'm healing 17 per auto attack right now. So, like, just by default, it would give me 64 HP per auto. There's no fucking way that's right, right? There's no way that's right. That would be fucking insane. Sixty-four HP per auto. Oh god, I'm excited, dude. Will you all the way, please? I don't want him to surrender. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, holy shit. Either way, that was a that was a good show off of Death Toll. You guys are going to have to wait for another video to see Death's Embrace, but I'm super excited about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you as always, and until next time, guys. Yeah.